Part two. How about can I just say no? The locker room shenanigans. Part two. I, I scrolled down. Just a few of the comments. One more time. Just a few. Just to see what's being said. Oh, these women should sue. And these women, they don't need psychological help. The guy does. No. Clearly, they these women who undressed unwillingly in front of this man in the locker room, they do need psychological help because they are adults who willingly undressed in front of this man 18 times a week is the claim. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm saying it did happen. I, I'm, I believe them. They willingly did it willingly, but yet are claiming that they're being forced to do it. Not one person is ripping the clothes off of these women in this locker room in front of this man who claims to be a woman. Not one person is getting their clothes ripped off of them by force. Not one. And I'm tired of the comment section. Oh, these poor girls. What? You all, parents, raised your daughters like my parents raised me to think that they're being forced to do something when they're not. Because they've literally imprisoned us in our minds, ladies. In the churches, comply. Don't speak. Let the men, and I'm not a man-hater, I'm not a feminist. But I can see this clearly for what it is. No one has been forced to take their clothes off in a locker room, except maybe underage children, and, and then they feel like they don't have the authority. I understand that part. It happened to me in junior high. We were forced to get naked. I, they were, you're, you're going to get in trouble with your parents. Man. Yeah, it was, it was coercion. Absolutely. No doubt about it. But we're talking about grown-ups over 18 in college claiming that they were forced how psychologically and emotionally damaged are our young women and men, college age, that cannot understand the difference between force and compliance? You have complied, ladies. There's not one leader in that fucking locker room of ladies. Not one. Their autonomy has been ripped from them via Children's Federal Day Prison and social media and whatever else. Not one, I'll tell you what, man, when I was in school, there was always a leader. He was the bad kid, the mouthy girl. But you know what? I bet they're successful today. I'd like to look and see. At any rate, not one woman, not the team captain stood up and said, you know what, girls? We ain't got to deal with this. Nope. Not even the team captain said shit. Just shut her clothes right in front of this mother effer with a schlong hanging out. Identifying as a woman. Peace out, YouTube. I'm working on it. Clearly, I've got an addiction to, to speaking my mind on YouTube. But we'll work on it. I just, uh, I'm trying. I'm just... It's on my mind. I got to do my yoga. And then I got to do my victory pose. Put her arms up in a V-shape for two minutes. This guy swears up and down. It'll change your mindset. I'm like, huh, I'm getting ready to do it. We're going to do the victory pose. No matter how we feel with whatever. You got thoracic outlet syndrome, whatever's wrong with your shoulder. <laughs> Who cares, man? Just do the victory pose for two minutes and change your day, change your life. Peace out, YouTube.